Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here with another tech lesson and today we're going to go over how when your Word template just gets totally screwed up and it constantly asks you if you want to save your normal template or it doesn't work well, this is how you rebuild it. So we're going to go to your Run dialog box with Windows R. You're going to type in percent sign, which is Shift 5, app data, A-P-P, D-A-T-A, -P -P, percent sign, backslash, your backslash is the third key to the right of your P. You're going to type in Microsoft, you're going to do another backslash, and type in templates. Remember, once you've typed in what you want, it will automatically start populating for you, so the next time you do a Windows R, you can actually down arrow through all of your options in your Run dialog box. I'm going to hit enter on that and my app data will open. And here are all my normal templates. You can do this for any normal template that is not working. Anyway, you're going to hit the letter N and it's going to say normal.dotm or whatever office version you happen to have. And you're just gonna hit the delete key. Now what this does is it removes, your it removes your normal template and rebuilds it as soon as you open Word. So let's go ahead and hit delete and get rid of it and it's gone. Uh, you can do this for your email, anything else that your template has messed up. But Word is pretty typical because when you're copying and pasting, it is amazing how your normal template will go astray. Anyway, I'm going to Alt F4 and close this. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and open Word and I have a hotkey for Windows 4, which I'm gonna use, okay, and escape. Okay, so now what it does, and you can insert F if you're using screen readers, and it's going to tell you Calibri body 11 multi-spacing aligned left. So now you actually have to rebuild your fonts and your paragraph spacing. Let's go ahead and quickly do that. Control D takes us to the font box. There's many ways to do it. That's the one I use. I'm going to type in TIM. The reason why I'm typing in TIM is because Times New Roman is the default font for MLA, APA papers, so if you're in school, your job or business may vary, but typically it's Times New Roman. It's always Times New Roman if you're in school. So I'm gonna down arrow one time to Times New Roman because I typed T-I-M. I'm gonna tab twice, I'm gonna tab past my font style because I do want regular to be the default, and I'm gonna type in 12. Once again, 12 times your Roman, 12 font is the default for all formal paper writing if you're in school. To set my default, I do Alt D, and then it's going to ask me, do I want to do this for this, just this document or for all documents? And I'm going to do Alt A to say all. So let's do it Alt D first to set as default. And you could tab all the way down through there, but why when Alt D is so much faster? And the first thing it asks, is this document only? No. I do an Alt A for all documents based on a normal template and I hit enter and my, my font box closes. Now I'm going to go to my paragraph box. I am using the older commands which are far faster than the newer commands. So now I'm going to do Alt O and then P, Alt O and then P for my paragraph box. Left align, yes I do. Outline body text, absolutely. Now I'm going to quickly bypass every uh, thing in the middle and jump all the way down to my spacing because it's my after spacing that is incorrect. I'm going to do Alt F just to jump there and you're going to hear 8 point. That is incorrect. You want to hit 0. And you're going to tab once and you're going to hear multiple and you're going to hit S for single. And then just tab off to make sure single is there for your defaults. Now we're going to set your default. So just keep in mind there's always two things you have to change in your paragraph box and your font box and then it will just stick in your brain. I'm going to set the default, same command, Alt D to set as default, Alt A for all documents based on the normal template, Alt D first. And then of course the dialog box opens and says, well exactly what do you want to set as default? All of it, so Alt A. And then I'm going to hit enter and close. And now I have beautiful Times New Roman 12 font single spacing. Let's go ahead and confirm that with equals ran left parent right parent and enter. And yes, it all comes out, all this beautiful text, Times New Roman 12 single spacing. It is perfect. It is ready for school. 
uh, any school that you go to, and it doesn't matter whether you use MLA, APA, or any of the other form formats, it is going to tell you the formal paper writing is going to be Times New Roman 12, single space. Of course, now when you do a control A and you do a control 2 for double spacing, because formal papers must be double spaced, it will space it correctly. If you have another uh, default, like multi-spacing, you're going to have much bigger spaces. Okay, that is how you rebuild your normal template and make your word perfectly ready to go. And we'll talk to you later. If you like these lessons, thumbs up on your YouTube channel. And of course, subscribe and you will get a lot more lessons.